Well, we have made it to Friday, and that means it's time for Good Week, Bad Week. Michael Loftus is with us now, and you know the rules. We give you the case for a good week or a bad week, and Michael gives us the verdict. First up, uh, Gazelle Fetterman, the wife of John Fetterman, the senator. Good week because her husband is the new drawerling of the left and the media. Glowing New York Times profile about him. Bad week because in that glowing coverage, she was outed as only visiting him in the hospital once a week. Yeah, that's where it turns into a bad week for uh, mm. Gazelle for me. Because, like, he's in there for depression, right? So you'd think, like, seeing your wife, like, every day would cheer you up, unless she's part of the depression. Then just by going once a week, she's just kind of keeping it going. She's just kind of poking it at was, him. Like, it was, stay bummed out. It was kind of sad, I thought, when you read it. And it, considering how glowing the New York Times was, that they, they threw that in there. It was like, really? I, it didn't make a lot of sense. But anyway, yeah. um, Leonardo DiCaprio, this headline from the Daily Mail, a bit of an eco-hypocrite. Leo, jet-loving DiCaprio, heads to Green Fashion Awards in L.A. after traveling 12,000 miles in two weeks to chase models in Europe. I, I, I think I can guess what you're going to say, but I just want to know the why. <laughs> okay. First of all, I want to know more about these eco-fashion awards. Isn't that just clothes that's already been worn? Wouldn't like a Salvation Army where I got this? Wouldn't that be a, a fashion award? Anyway, it's a it's a bad week oh. for Leo because he's got to travel so fast. He's got to go. He likes his girlfriends very young, Leland. So if he if he takes a boat, by the time he gets there, she'll be too old for him. So he's he's trapped. He's got to take a jet, which makes him a, a, a green hypocrite. Yeah, he's he's been that a while. You know, hey, look, you know, but he enjoys his time on the boats with the models, as he as he seems to love his yachts uh, a lot. Yes. But well, you got to take a plane to get there. <laughs> Silicon Valley Bank CEO Gregory Becker. Bad week because his institution collapsed at warp speed, costing investors billions of dollars. Or good week because just like in the 2008 financial crisis, he knows he will never face jail time. This guy is having a great week. Because, listen, as this bank is collapsing, they interview him and he goes, yeah, we had a, we had a tough day. Can, can you imagine losing that much money and just going, yeah, that's a bad day. It's like that Sam Bankman free. I can't imagine a scenario where I lose my house, I lose my job, I lose my car, and I'm like, yeah, that's a tough day. That's a tough day at the office. Well, so I want to be so rich I can be in his shoes. Yeah, well, to be fair, everybody else, all the depositors and the investors, lost all of that. He's oh, still doing pretty good. Barron's reports. They're having a horrible week. Yeah, Barron's reports uh, that he sold about $3 million in stock a couple of weeks ago uh, in, a, in a planned sale. So there you right. go. So you're, you're right. Funny you may not how be it having... works out like that. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.